What's up with it? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. And welcome back to the Landon Strip, man. If this is your first time over here in the Landon McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. We're trying to hit 5,000 of them subscribers by December 31st, man. So if everybody sub up, we can go ahead and get that done. Who has the heat season four? Uh, we're currently taking submissions. So if you're trying to get in, you feel like being in on a sneaker battle, we can go ahead and get that done. Sign up at the Who Has the Heat Instagram page and we can go ahead and get you locked in, man. Um, also, huge shout out to E-Money Shoes, 313 Retro Queen and PM Kicks, man, including myself, we are the judges for the show if you're interested in this dope shirt it's produced by uh timeless co you can follow them at ig um i'll put it down here so you can find them uh my homie actually owns the company and uh bless me with this shirt it's actually 3m reflective he's got some other things coming down with the stitching and all that he didn't upgrade it but at any rate that's why you're here that right there y'all see it and it's a box of 350s you click the thumbnail so obviously you know what the shoe is but uh i have yet to look at this shoe and this is a pair of yeezy earths not earth earths e-r-r-r double f earths that's how you pronounce it and boom there it is man so we're gonna go ahead get you locked in on this close-up action give you a view of this give you my opinions but before we do man comment down below if you like this shoe if you don't like this shoe did you buy did you not buy what's your favorite yeezys are you feeling the v2s the 350s let me know but for now let's go ahead on man and take flight all right, man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Just giving you a shot of that size tag in case you're looking at purchasing on the resale market so you know what you're looking for. It's your traditional 350 box. Um, this is a size 12 and a half, so it's not a PP, but um, I did want to review it. I wanted to see it, um, so here it is. Um, this is called the Earth, 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 Earth. <laughs> it's your uh, description pull out boxes you already know you have your pan uh paper in there and that's about it pretty simple boost on that side nothing on that side back side boom down that's all she drew now see the switch how i did that like that boy that thing boy <laughs> this is the actual shoe and for my first time um peeping it or seeing it I, I don't really know how I feel about it like when the pictures first leaked and you know they have the mock-ups and stuff I'd be like man you know you can't really go off of that because Adidas and Yeezys Yeezys never look like the pictures I say that in all of my Yeezy videos if you've seen any of them and I got a ton of Yeezy videos so if you want to check them out you can check my Adidas playlist or I might just put it in here for you guys to watch it if you're an Adidas head or whatnot we do a little bit of everything over there we try to cover everybody but I wasn't sure how this shoe would actually look. So normally I'll just gamble on it and when it shows up, decide if I want to keep it or sell it. But in this case, um, I decided to use my better judgment and um, pass. But actually looking at this shoe, uh, fashion wise, I could probably do some damage with this, but I don't really have to have it. It's, it's kind of one, one dimensional. For me i need something with a little more pop or a little more frill but i don't know i say that now but if i see them for a right a, a decent price later i may actually backtrack and pick these up i'm i'm still i'm still undecided like in my opinion this isn't a a bad shoe it's just it's just really plain that's that's really my only knock on it it's really really plain um i always go true to size in my yeezys I don't have a Yeezy that's not my size. <laughs> they all fit fine. Some people say go half size up or whatever, but um, I don't ever do that, and it works out fine for me. Um, if you get an opportunity, you could go to maybe some of your local boutiques or whatnot, try the shoe on just to um, get a fit for your specific foot. You dig? 
because everybody's foot is different. So what may fit me may not fit you. But at any rate, you have a all um, prime knitted upper from your Yeezy and this earth tone, which is pretty much tan. It's really very close to the color of the actual box um, that the Yeezys actually come in. Um, all tan on the upper, you do have your see-through stripe that all the V2s have. Um, tan laces. Oh, uh, your tags over here for all your all, all the tag people. There's one. There's usually two. Hmm. Oh well, this one only got one tag. A uh, full length boost for you people who know about the boost. As you can see, your your earth colored sole coming in to your yellow hit here on the sole, and your boost in there. Full length boost. Which is great. I love boost. You can't go wrong with a boost shoe, no matter what, regardless. Period. If it's boost, it's comfortable. Your feet will thank you later. I promise you. Take my word for it. <laughs> Just take my word for it. Go buy them. Go get them. And um, you got your little brown hit on the back, that chocolate. And your sole is also chocolate, if I didn't mention that before. You got that chocolate sole with the. Uh, tan midsole here encapsulating that boost and that hits nice i really like the sole on that shoe um i like how that back looks i think maybe if the upper was this chocolate color it may grab me a little bit more but i don't know i could be wrong um coming around to your other shoe oh also the inner sock liner and all it is chocolate brown in there your three stripes are always 3m on your yeezys um for those of you who uh who don't know very simplistic shoe, not much to it by any means. Show you that sole, clean, clean, clean. Uh, not doing on foot on these because it's not a PP. I just wanted to give you guys some shots of it so you could see it. Maybe persuade you into copping or not copping. Let me know down below, man. You copping these, you not copping these, whatever, whatever. You know, we can talk about it. Um, these do have pull tabs on the back. Um, I think the Yechis or the uh, Yeezros, one of them didn't have a pull tab and it was kind of throwing me off, but they over there somewhere, but I ain't about to pull it out. But yeah, um, insole is black writing on the inside. That camera ain't going, it's not going to pick that up, but it's in there. Dope shoe. I'm a, huge, I'm a big fan of Yeezys. I don't like all Yeezys, but I'm good with them. You got your tissue paper in the toe. I feel like for what these cost, they should at least be shoe trees, but that's just my opinion. Retail was $220. Kanye is not playing. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's the review. This is the shoe. Did you cop? Did you not cop? Might backtrack on it. Not really sure yet. My eyes are currently fixated on UNC3s. But either way, until next time, it's your boy McFly, man. I'll holler at you.